next now we want to we had a complaint about this air conditioner that's not cooling enough so and one of the reasons might be as you know this is a condenser unit the job is for these things here we call them fans their job is, is to be able to um, um, to be able to dissipate heat that is being brought from the inside to the outside so it, what it does it helps to cool the flow that is in between the pi little pipes. I don't know if you could see the little pipes that run in, inside them. There are some pipes that are inside this particular framework. So these fins help cool the refrigerant in those pipes so that it's being recycled. It goes back inside again to bring the heat on and on. So it brings the heat from the out from the inside, and these fins here help us to dissipate those heat so that we can get a cooler temperature on the inside. So, but if these fans have dirt and soot on them, and these suits that we are talking about are mostly, mostly coming from all these hoods, I mean all these vents and chimneys you can see around here, they are coming from there. So, they bring the, the, all, the, all of them, the wind blows them over this and it prevents it from functioning at the maximum. So, right now we are going to have to clean this off. And how do we clean it? We simply use a particular this chemical we use. You can go and Google, you know, find a chemical of your choice. I'm not here to sell anybody's brand, so but we use this, we use an appropriate chemical there to mix. We mix in, in part, we mix the chemical in some parts of water, and we have we, we in a spray can such as this one. We already have the chemical mixed here in the ratio of 50-50. Now a spray can. Then God helps you if you have a source of water supply close by. You connect a jet to it, and the first thing you do is for you to first of all, you know, spray your your fins. You spray them neatly all over. Spray them, spray around, spray around, spray around. So you get an even, evenly spread water all over the surface. Don't forget the idea is for you to be able to remove all the soot and there's that are trapped inside the fence. So the next thing you do is for you to carry your mix of chemical, your spray can. You take your spray can with all the chemicals that you already mixed in it in, in parts of 50-50. And you go around, it's just like when you're, 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 you're washing or you're bathing you know, in your house and you, this is like the soap. So you apply the spray on it, you go around, you spray all over it, spray all over it evenly make sure everywhere is touched because we need to get the suit out of it so we go around and spray oh my spray can is losing pressure and I got to give it more pressure so like I said we give it a good very neat even spray all around so one warning we should make note of is that this chemical shouldn't be left for too long on the surface. It's better we immediately we finish spraying, we go right ahead and quickly wash the chemicals off because it might edge up the, the brass pipes that are in, inside the fin assembly. So we better take note of that. So we go ahead and, and please you always wear your protective equipment when handling chemicals and read the MSDS sheets, the MSDS documents that came with your med, med, the chemicals before you start dealing with them. And make sure, as you can see, it's already trying to etch up the pipe work on the external part and that goes around the, the condenser unit. So with that, we quickly go ahead and rinse it off. Again, you rinse it evenly, you control your jet. One thing our advice is make sure the pressure of the jet is not too much because they could damage the fins as well. They are just very thin aluminiums, aluminium plate, aluminium sheets. So if it, the pressure of the jet is too much, you could damage it. So you can see some of the fins are already bent, probably from impact or some other things like that. So little by as you can see it's already forming. You can see the dirty water coming out of it. That's all the dead that has been preventing the condenser unit from functioning up to maximum. So with this we're guaranteed that this isn't gonna work, it's gonna 
there's gonna be a, uh, some cooling on the inside after we finish doing this if all things being equal all things being equal that we have enough refrigerants in the system the compressor is working good and there are no leakages then we should have cooling and the thermostat is working well every other thing being equal with this we should have a good cooling from our evaporation evaporating unit on the inside i hope this made sense to you thank you very much see you again